Amid surge in COVID-19 cases across the nation, Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru has come up with a warm vaccine. A heat-tolerant vaccine developed by the Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru is said to be more effective against the SARS-CoV-2 strains and is also said to be more effective when it comes to the protection of the future variants as well. Now, according to the Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru's researchers and a professor, Raghavan Varadharajan, they took a really long time to come up with this particular research and the warm vaccine as well. The hard work went on for quite a long time, almost since 2000 and the work then further became very much faster as well during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, what really stands out of this warm vaccine is that as per the research paper that is out now, this particular report claims that if warm vaccine is really uh, taken forward seriously, then it is very effective as well because it can be stored at a room temperature, need not to be stored mandatorily in a cold storage. So this can be stored in a room temperature for at least a month is what this report is claiming. And further, we do know that most of the vaccines that are out in the market regarding the COVID-19, they all need to be mandatorily stored in a cold storage. So this is what really stands out of this warm vaccine is what this report is saying. But if you try and understand that how did the researchers actually basically come up with this concept to therefore go ahead with this uh, effort as well, then let me just try and read out what it really says in its research is that so the research is basically selected two parts of SARS-CoV-2 spine protein, the S2 subunit and the receptor binding domain that we do read as RBD for designing their vaccine candidate. Now, the S2 subunit is highly conserved is what we also know and it mutates much less than S1 subunit. Now, what it really tries here to tell us is that the most of the vaccines which are actually out in the market are just for that current variant of the COVID-19 as well. So, it further in a way declines the efficacy because the virus keeps mutating. So, it is less effective but this particular warm vaccine will actually provide protection for all the future variants of the COVID-19. So, this is what the research paper really has to say. But on the other hand, you see the researchers are also grateful to the uh, foundation for uh, for a foundation to support that uh, to put in a support for their research so what the researchers are saying is that a greater support for them came from the bill and melinda uh, gates foundation so that uh, that foundation uh, the, the organization really helped them out in a huge manner is what the researchers are actually stating as well but Lastly, you see what uh, the researchers here really have to claim is that if this particular warm vaccine is taken up very seriously, then it would further help in the costing production also in a storage and this is hence very economical as well.